Yeah, hello there and welcome back and let us continue over here. In the previous lesson, we learned about the sub routes and also about the parameters that we can pass in. And in this lesson, we are going to add a listenable or the notifier to our go router. And what we'll do is we will add a sign in and the sign up functionality over here. So let's get started with it. I'll go to my route folder over here and add a new file and let's call it as a go router underscore the notifier i guess the uh, dart file and let's create a class over here so let's call it as a class and go router let's call it as a notifier that will extend from the uh, change notifier and once we have this class let's go into the top and i'll create a provider for this one and let's call this one as a let me call it as a go router notifier provider and uh, let's import this one let me import this one and also i'll just add this one as a return type and from here i'll just return this one over here so if I go to now my uh, go router provider over here and if I go on to the top over here there is an option to add a, a listenable right so uh, refresh uh, listenable so if you see over here it takes a listenable and uh, if I want to add that particular notifier which is a change notifier internally it implements the listenable so we can use this one so let's go over here and on the here let's go and add a final notifier which is of equals to ref dot the uh, let me just read that one and uh, that will be of the uh, we have a go router notifier provider so let me grab that one and i can just add this to a work here so that that is good so it can accept that particular go router notifier as a refresh listenable so with this refresh uh, listenable whenever this particular uh, notifier get updates we want to do some redirect over here so let's call the redirect functionality over here and it takes the context and the state so uh, this will be called whenever uh, we change we want to call call the redirect function whenever we get some updates to this particular notifier so let's go back to our go router notifier over here and in this particular class what i will do is i'll just add some variable uh, so let's say bool and it will be of each l-o-g-g-e-d log in right so it's logged in which is of by default let's say it's a false and let's create a getter for this one so bool and uh, which will be of a get and it's l-o-g-g-e-d it's logged in which will be written from us the is logged in so this is a getter and also let us set a setter for this one set each l-o-g-g-e-d logged in uh, which it takes a parameter of a bool sorry it will take a parameter of a bool and let's say a value for this one so once we have that value we'll just update the each logged in to as a value that we have and then we will uh, notify the listeners over here so whenever uh, the value changes for this particular is logged in we are going to notify the listener and this will trigger our this will trigger our redirect function over here so um if i go back over here so i guess you got the point we get a we set a getter and the setter for our is logged in and now we need to utilize that particular function over here and for that let's go and call this particular functionality over here so final i'll just call it as a let's say each logg the log in which is of equal so i'll get it from the notifier dot is logged in so uh, this will tell us if we are logged in or not so let's go down over here and let's also get the uh, location or uh, let's say each uh, let's say each uh, gy and you're going to uh, let's say uh, 
login so let's say if it is going to a login route so let's say i can get that one from this state dot the uh, sub location and it is of equals to equals to let's say is the login so currently we don't have this route so let's go down over here and let's add that route over here so it will be of our top level uh, route over here and let's make it as a login and uh, currently we don't have any login page over here so let's go and add a new feature and let's call this one as a auth and inside this auth let's add a new uh, presentation presentation and inside this presentation i'm going to add a ui folder and with this ui i'm going to add a widget in in case if we need it so let's add a new file over here and call it as a login underscore uh, str screen dot the dot file so let's create a stateful uh, widget over here and let's call it as a login screen so that should be good and let's add this particular material and make it one as a const over here and we are good to go so over here what i will do is i'll just call the scar fold over here and i'll just call this one uh app bar let's add the app bar and let's add the uh const of the i guess it should be of a app bar and inside this app bar let's add the title of the uh, const which will be of what text and let's call this one as a uh, login over here and we can also say that the center tile to make it as a true over here and in the body let's go and add the uh, body for this one and uh, let's add the uh, center and with the center i can add the child and with this child uh, let's add the uh, column and with this column i will just go make it as a children and in the children let's add the const of the uh, let's add the button so you we'll elevated uh, e l sorry e l e v elevated button and uh, let's add this let me arrange this function over here correctly and uh, then it should be of the child let's make it as of a const of the text and let's call it as a login and here we will just make it as a function call so with this we can actually go and call that particular function. when we click on this uh, we just need to so here we need to access that particular uh, notifier so what we will do is since this has a provider what we will do is i'll make this one as a, a consumer uh, let's make it as a consumer stateful c-o-n-s-u consumer stateful widget and i need to change this one as a consumer state over here and also over here uh, consumer state so once we have changed it to consumer state we can have access to the ref so i can just make a ref call from here ref dot uh, i need to read that particular provider a uh, go router a uh, notifier provider and then it has the it's the log in i'll just update it to uh true from here so which means that the user is logged in so i'll just update once i click on that one and uh so that should be the one and let's go and fix any of the issues so here is the one that we need to close it and let's go back to our go router provider over here so here we will return the login screen from here and then what we will do is inside of our uh, setting page let's go and add this particular button over there and the settings screen i'll just go and add a new button over here and i need to get this one too so here i will change this one to the consumer stateful widget which comes from the flutter river pod so a consumer state over here and this one also as the consumer state so now we can access to this particular riff 
so I need to remove the cons from here and let's add the cons over here let me import this provider and here I'll just hit it to the false over here so I want to log out from here I'll sign out so from here I can sign out and I set that particular value to the false and in the login page I set it to the true so this is a simple uh, login and the logout it's not actually the real implementation but I just want to show you how we can use this particular uh, refresh listener and the redirect with the core router as well as the uh, river pod. So once we have that it is going to this particular uh, login route we also have the login route over here. So let's go and add some condition over here. So I'll just check for the condition if um, also add I will add one more function over here which is of the uh, boolean let's see of a bool and it's the plic duplicate and uh, by default it should be of a false and over here I will just check for this one as uh, if it's not if it is not uh, logged in right if it is not it's logged in and uh, it's it's not going to log in so if the user is not logged in and if it is not going to that particular login page because our initial location is this one right so user is always going to the initial page which is of this uh, home page over here so if the user is not logged in and that particular if if the user is not going to the login page then we should redirect him to that particular uh, we should return him or redirect him to the um, the login page right so from here i'll just say a uh, login page i want to redirect it to the login page from here otherwise we will at the end return the null from here so which means we don't want to do it again and also this may be called uh, multiple time uh, based on the redirect logic so what we want to do is we want to check for if it is a duplicate we, which means that we have already said it or not so here what I will do is if it is also not a each duplicate now so here I will just call it as a and is not a duplicate row. So after that, I will just go and update it over here to say like a each a duplicate is of equals to the true. So which means now this should be of a duplicate. And I guess that should be a uh, pretty okay for us. And uh, let's let's go down over here. And let's check if we is if it is not logging, if it's not going, and if it's not okay, then it should return always should return the login page for us. So what we'll do is we'll try to restart our application and let's see how it works. And then we get an error over here. It should be of a duplicate path. So I guess we have a same duplicate path somewhere here. Uh, let's go down over here and this is a root okay so we call the same so let's go and add a new name route over here so let's go down and uh, let me add this one as a login right so l o g i n login and let's change this one to login over here so let's go back and update this one to login and that should be okay so let's try to restart it one more time and uh, let's wait okay so here we get to go to the login so if i restart one more time and uh, you should see that we are on the login screen or the login page over here so when i log in it should actually update that particular state but i guess it's not doing anything so let me check let us check what went wrong over here and i guess let's go to the login screen and over here we are calling that particular it's logged in and setting it to the true so let's go to the go route provider and uh, let's go on to the top and let us check over here 
so what we will do over here is we will check for the another condition if uh, each logged in and each going to log in again if the user is already logged in and if it is still going to this particular login page and it's not a duplicate one so let me also check for this one each not a duplicate then each not a duplicate then what we'll do is we will go and say uh each duplicate to the true and, and then we will return from here uh, the our the main route which is of the the home route that we have so this should take us to this particular route so uh i guess that should be fine and uh, let's let's run our application one more time and uh, let us see if we get passed through it okay so it's still not working so if i go to this put a breakpoint over here and uh, over here so let's put a two breakpoint and let me restart it one more time and now i'm going to this particular login page that's okay and uh, next let me click on it and i'm not going to over there so let me see if i can check the condition okay so if it is not login and it is it's already login and it's still going to this particular login page that this condition is true and this duplicate is also true so what we have to do over here is at the end of this one i will check for this condition uh, each duplicate so if it is a duplicate sorry each it is a duplicate route already then we are going to set it each duplicate to the false so i guess that should fix that particular issue so let's restart this one and uh, we are already in the login okay that's good so we can log in now and we can say this is true this is true and also this is false so now we can go in inside of this application and we should return this particular home route and that should be okay so now you can see that we are on this home screen right so that's that is great so let me remove this break, uh, breakpoint over here and now if i restart my application i can log in from here and i can go to the setting page and i can sign out from here and i will go to the login page so this is a simple redirect logic that we have added over here using the uh, change notifier that we have created over here let's go over here and uh, this is a change notifier and we have a simple uh, the getter and the setter for each logged in and we created a provider which comes from the revolver provider and then we watch that refresh listenable over here we added and then we created a redirect logic over here so once the user is logged in or the log out so we can call this particular redirect functionality accordingly and this is really cool over here because now what it does it it can automatically handle that login and the logout from in our application from anywhere so i can just update the particular state on the change notifier and once you update the state of this particular uh, is logged in it will automatically call this particular redirect logic for us and it will redirect us to this particular or uh, the correct page over here so i guess that's all for this lesson and uh, we learn about the um, go router uh, listenable and also about the river pod how we can provide it and also about the um, route or the redirect logic over here so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will continue with our lecture on the next video till then have a great day